everybody, Aaron here again with another one. This is That's So True by Gracie Abrams. Let's jump right in. All right, I'm here on Ultimate Guitar. You can find a link to this chart in the description. You are going to have to update the chart just slightly to make it look the way you'll see it in this video. To do so, click on the three dots in the lower right corner, then go up to where it says Simplify Chords. Click that, and then just below that, you'll see where it says Use Flats. We're going to use Flats, and that's going to make your chart look like this. It should say G flat. B flat minor, A flat. Now those chords might sound intimidating, but they're relatively simple. So let me show you what the chords are for this song. There are primarily three chords in this song. There is a fourth chord that comes in in the bridge. So let me show you the three primary chords first. All right, this right here is middle C. And our right hand is going to be just above that. Our middle finger, or our index finger, sorry, is going to be on the D flat or C sharp right here. Thumb on the B flat, pinky on the G flat. So this is a G flat chord. In our left hand, we're just going to play a G flat down here. Next chord's going to be B flat minor. In our right hand, all we're going to do is lower this pinky from the G flat to the F. So that is going to be B flat minor, B flat, D flat, and F. Our left hand is going to play this B flat right here. The next chord is A flat. To do that, we're going to go A flat, C, and E flat in our right hand, and an A flat chord in our left. So those three chords, G flat, B flat minor, A flat. Now I mentioned there's a fourth chord, it comes in the bridge. It is a D flat chord and it comes off of a B flat chord. So the chord progression there is G flat, B flat, and then we're gonna to go to a D flat. Now to do that, we're just gonna lower this thumb down to the A flat. So A flat, D flat, F, and we're gonna play this D flat in our left hand right up here. And then it'll go from there to an A flat chord. So the bridge chord progression, G flat, B flat minor, D flat, a flat. All right. Those are the chords for this song. Not too hard. Now I'm going to show you different rhythm patterns you can use and we'll start with the simplest and work to the most difficult. Now what you're going to want to do with these different rhythm patterns is decide what part of the song to use the different patterns for. You may choose to make it more simple in the verse and then more complicated in the chorus or the pre-chorus. You can play with the different rhythm patterns that I show you, and then decide which ones are appropriate for the different parts of the song. You don't have to use the same rhythm pattern for the whole song. Mix it up and make it your own. All right, so the rhythm in this song, you actually play two measures on G flat. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then B flat minor for four, A flat for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and that's the rhythm takes you through all of the song except with the exception of the bridge. So what you can do is just sit on the chord for the four beats. That's the simplest pattern that you can do. If you want to make it more complicated than that, what I would do is I would hit uh, on one and then the end of two, okay, with just my right hand. So one, two, three, four, one, two, and 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 three, four, That's another simple pattern, but more complicated than just hitting it and holding it for all four beats. So now the next rhythm pattern that you would do is you would do the and of two with your right hand and then re-accent four in your left hand. So it'd be like this. One, two, and three, four. 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 Right now, if you want to make it more complicated than that, what you can do is do a quarter note driving pattern in the right in the left hand. So you're just basically hitting all four beats and then you're accenting one and the end of two in your right hand like this. If you want to add to that, you can re-accent four in your right hand. So in your right hand, you would be doing downbeat one, and of two, and four with the driving pattern in the left hand, like this. All 
Alright, now finally, the rhythm pattern for the bridge would sound like this. And that's the song that's so true i taught you the chords and some rhythm patterns you can use i hope you can put that all together to make your own version of this song that you love all right thank you so much for watching do me a favor jump over to amazon check out my book a piano chord book you can actually use it's a great resource as you're learning how to play the piano drop me a like and subscribe would really appreciate it god bless you and we'll see you next time